If heaven ever wishes to grant me a boon, it will be a total effacing of the results of a mere chance which fixed my eye on a certain stray piece of shelf paper. It was nothing on which I would normally have stumbled in the course of my daily round, for it was an old number of an Australian journal, the Sydney Bulletin for April 18th, 1925. It had escaped even the cutting bureau, which had at the time of its issuance been avidly collecting material for my uncle's research. I had largely given over my inquiries into what Professor Angel called the Cthulhu cult and was visiting a learned friend in Patterson, New Jersey, the curator of a local museum and a mineralogist of note. Examining one day the reserved specimens roughly set on the storage shelves in a rear room of the museum, my eye was caught by an odd picture in one of the old papers spread beneath the stones. It was the Sydney Bulletin I have mentioned, for my friend has wide affiliations in all conceivable foreign parts, and the picture was a half-tone cut of a hideous stone image, almost identical with that which Lagrasse had found in the swamp. Eagerly clearing the sheet of its precious contents, I scanned the item in detail and was disappointed to find it of only moderate length. What it suggested, however, was of pretentious significance to my flagging quest, and I carefully tore it out for immediate action. It read as follows. Mystery derelict found at sea. Vigilant arrives with helpless armed New Zealand yacht in tow. One survivor and dead man found aboard. Tale of desperate battle and deaths at sea. Rescued seaman refuses particulars of strange experience. Odd idol found in his possession. Inquiry to follow. The Morrison Company's freighter Vigilant, bound from Valparaiso, arrived this morning at its wharf in Darling Harbor, having in tow the battled and disabled but heavily armed steam yacht Alert of Dunedin, New Zealand, which was sighted April 12th in south latitude 34 degrees 21 minutes west, longitude 152 degrees 17 minutes, with one living and one dead man aboard. The vigilant left Valparaiso March 25th, and on April 2nd was driven considerably south of her course by exceptionally heavy storms and monster waves. On April 12th, the derelict was sighted, and though apparently deserted, was found upon boarding to contain one survivor in a half-delirious condition, and one man who had evidently been dead for more than a week. The living man was clutching a horrible stone idol of unknown origin, about a foot in height, regarding whose nature authorities at Sydney University, the Royal Society, and the Museum and College Street all profess complete bafflement, in which the survivor says he found in the cabin of the yacht in a small carved shrine of common pattern.